All right, so this is the part where the rubber hits the road. We're gonna be looking at how to use Python to make a motor spin for both the V5 and our little VexIQ robot. So VexIQ people, I have you covered as well. Now, if you aren't already familiar with object-oriented programming concepts, you may want to first watch our introduction to object-oriented programming so that you don't feel overwhelmed with what you're about to see. Let's get started. Recall that in object-oriented programming, we have a data object which represents a noun, such as a person, place, or thing. Now we use the dot operator to access the methods or actions that the object can perform. Occasionally, these methods may require additional data to perform the action. In this example, we have a motor, our object, and it's going to spin, which is the method or action that the motor can perform. And then we pass some additional data as parameters, such as the direction of the motor that it should be spinning in, which in this case is an object itself, the speed, and the type of velocity units. Let's go into Robot Mesh Studio and create a new project to see what this looks like. Okay, so here in Robot Mesh Studio, I'm going to click on the New Project button. And this time we're going to do something very different. Instead of programming a mimic or a simulation of the VEX hardware, I'm going to select VEX V5. So I'm actually going to run a program that will work on the physical hardware. My programming language is still Python. And for options here, I might call this a uh, simple motor movement and hit create. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn the robot on. And with the robot turned on and plugged into my PC uh, via the USB cable, I'm going to click this detect sensors button. So you can see when I did that, all of the motors and my vision sensor uh, showed up here in the device monitor. Now, if I wasn't sure of which motor is controlling what part of the robot, I could click on this connect button and move the slider here to see. Now, from looking at my robot, it appears that motor one is my right motor. So I'm going to go motor and call this right. If I come back here and hit connect, and move this slider. I can see that this is my left motor. So I'm gonna call this motor left. And it appears that this is my claw and this is my arm. So for now we have all of our motors labeled. I didn't need to do that. That's a completely optional step, but it will make programming my robot a lot easier because I'll know what motor is actually controlling what part of the robot. So here, I'm going to start typing. I'm going to type motor right. And you can see how IntelliSense finds that um, motor variable because it gets instantiated up here when the uh, uh, project is created and I've connected to the robot. So I'm going to motor right dot. And now, what are the things that our motor can do? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to leaf down through this menu. And we can see that one of our choices here is spin. Now beside that is a brief description of the types of parameters that spin is expecting to receive. So we can see it spin turns the motor on and spins it in a specified direction and velocity if specified. So let's say that we do want to use spin. I'm gonna use my opening parenthesis and it's gonna ask for the direction. So this is a object. I'm gonna type vex dot and now again, I get some choices. And the option I'm looking for here is direction type dot. Now do I want to spin forwards or backwards? I'm gonna type FWD for forwards. Let's have it spin at 50% power. You can see how now it's telling us that it's expecting the second parameter here in the arguments list. So I'm gonna write 50. And the type of velocity unit, so 50 what? It's gonna move at vex dot velocity units dot PCT for percentage of power. With that program and that very first line of the program written, let's run our code and see if it works. So 
So you can see how when the motor was spinning, it was actually turning in reverse. So let's change this. I'm going to come up here to the settings for the right motor, choose my motor, and click on reverse polarity. Hit OK. And now let's run this code and see what happens. The sleep function in Python is analogous to the wait command in robot C. Here we will tell the system to sleep or wait for three seconds. Now let's add this to our program and observe what happens. Let's add a system.sleep call here right after our motor movement. So I'm going to type sys.sleep and then in opening parenthesis here I'm going to specify the number of seconds. So let's make this 10 seconds and close it. So now we should have our motor spinning and execution is going to stay at this point for 10 seconds. So let's see what happens. Lastly here, we can take a look at the uh, velocity unit. So the last argument here in MotorWrite is the percentage power, but I could also change these units to be something else. So for example, if I typed dot, I have a choice here between degrees per second, DPS, percentage power, or revolutions per minute. So here, if I change this to degrees per second, we'll get a very different behavior. Let's do this now as a Python project for VexIQ. So just as before, I'm going to click on create a new project. This time my target platform is going to be VexIQ. For a language here, you'll see that at this moment in time, we have some interesting choices. We can pick a Python project or a Python beta project. Uh, I'm going to be using the Python beta. At a future date, uh, it is likely that this Python beta will become the new standard Python, and we might see something here that says Python old for the previous version of the Python for VexIQ. So let's pick this, and under options, I'm going to call this simple movement IQ, and hit create. You can see that how when I did that, uh, it, I'm connected to the VexIQ robot and all of my sensors lit up. And now I can go through the process of renaming and retitling them. So for example, I might change this to be motor left and this to be motor right. Again, you'll want to check to make sure that polarity is reversed. So let's do this as a VexIQ project now. You're going to see that the commands are exactly the same. I'm going to go motor right dot spin. I'm going to set the direction type. So vex dot direction type dot forward. Oops. I'm going to set this at 50 velocity units. And I'm going to use that as a percentage of power. And let's make it sleep for 10 seconds. Let's go and run our code and see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and also subscribing to this YouTube channel for more updates on Robot Mesh Studio and Vex Robotics.